tie your cypress minnow, you're going to need a number eight hook. Go ahead and crush the bar, like so. Go ahead and put your hook on the vise. So you're going to take your head cement and just put a bead of glue along the length of the hook. And that's to help your gel spun thread to stick so that your fly won't turn. Now you're going to wrap from the top of the bend of the hook almost all the way to the end, but leave some space for the eyes. Go ahead and wrap back and forward again. Now go ahead and cut off your tag end. It's got glue on it. Yay. And we're going to take our bead chain eyes, lay them at the front, and you're going to use a figure eight knot to tie them on. Go ahead and give it about six good wraps. I want to really make sure that they're going to stay on. Okay, now we're going to tie back to the end, the top of the bend of the hook. And this is where you're going to take your four inch piece of Chanel here, lay the tag end at the base of the hook, and go ahead and wrap it. Go ahead and take your Chanel and loop it over the eyes. Wrap here about three times. And loop it again over the other eye. Give it another three wraps. Cut your tag end off. Go and take your three inch piece of piping and you're going to fray the middle so you can actually slide it over your hook. And at this point you're actually going to want to fray the end pieces here. So go ahead and do that. And this is going to make it easier so you can actually slide it over the hook. Okay, so go ahead and split this in half. Half on one side, half on the other. Perfect. And once you got that squared away, you can go ahead and tie up the rest of your fly. Go ahead and use the whip finisher at this point. Clip off your tag end. And we're actually going to build a cone here at the end. Just go ahead and take a few wraps. And again, cut off the tag end. And go ahead and use your whip finisher. And cut off that tag end. And now we're going to secure everything by gluing it. Putting a lot of head cement on there. So up here at the head and back here at the tail. You want to make sure you get that all nice and covered, so don't be shy. Feel free to put a lot of glue on there. This is what's going to hold your cypress minnow in place and keep the fish from trashing it. And your very last step, just fray out the tail.
and you want that tail to be about the same length as the body. So if you need to cut off some excess, do so. There you go. And this is the Cyper Minnow. The Cyper Minnow actually mimics a frantic bait fish. So when it lands, immediately start stripping it in. Even though I'm stripping in this fly very quickly, you'll probably have to experiment with different speeds to see what works for you on that day. This fly appeals to seasoned fishermen, as well as the novice, because it's so easy to use and produces great results. 